were ready to glue the bridge onto the body. I've sanded the parts and we're going to orient the bridge, these two holes, right over these, these two holes here in the main body. So it'll fit right on here like this. Now there is a correct orientation and an incorrect orientation to this bridge and you'll see it because one end of the bridge is tapered uh, or both ends are tapered uh, one side of it is a little shorter than the other and so the shorter side goes up at this end and then you'll have it oriented correctly because you have to uh, imagine that there's going to be a uh, brass uh, rod here that fits on this part of the bridge and it doesn't go doesn't go this way goes like this so you want to make sure to get the orientation correct then we're going to use some Elmer's uh, yellow glue or tight bond or whatever brand you can find it's the yellowish kind of glue and we will uh, we want to make sure we have this clamping uh, bridge clamp ready and then these screws and washers so and a screwdriver of course so once we have everything ready we're going to put glue onto the underside the flat side of the bridge you don't need a whole lot of glue but you need enough to make sure some squeezes out when you clamp it down. Nice thing is you don't need to have any clamps because you're going to use the screws to do the clamping. So let's place this on here lining up the holes and then we'll place this on here lining up the holes put the uh, washer on the screw and drop it through and screw it in and we just tighten the two screws down and that's your clamp you want to make sure there's glue squeezing out all the way around at, especially at the ends too because uh, if there isn't enough glue you won't get good sound on the end prongs it has to be glued all the way to the very end there now I'll get a wet rag and I'm going to clean the excess glue off it's a little easier to do that while the glue is uh, wet so uh, use a wet rag and and use your finger or use uh, you know this little uh, brass rod or something to get into the corner real nicely and clean up all the excess glue very carefully keep uh, going over it with fresh uh, clean wet parts of the rag so that you get all the residue cleaned up and uh, otherwise you end up with a hazy finish on it 